seems like you guys locked down defensively in the second half a little bit. Can you talk yeah. about kind of the momentum from that? I'm just making adjustments on the guy. Um, he was kind of uh, hurting us from outside and inside. Um, we took our five out and adjusting like we had before. And uh, just being more mobile. And uh, being able to get the ball, hands on the ball. George was able to get his hands on the ball. He was able to really crowd him. And he became more of an outside guy. Um, they started losing what they had in the first half. And uh, they were moving the ball and getting some threes. They started to go low post and really depend on him. And I uh, was able to get some stops from the rebounds. Is that going to be a trademark of this game? Yeah, oh, always. Uh, I think that's going to be. That's the trademark of the team now. Uh, we're a smaller team. Uh, even with the guys we have now, Cho and, and Kirill, you can see that we're playing a smaller, a smaller lineup. But uh, I think the biggest thing is we have to defend. Uh, we're going to have to box out guys. We're going to have to rebound. We're going to have to scout reports more and uh, just lock in defensively. How was it getting Kevin on the, on the court? I felt good. Um, I mean, I'm so used to playing with Kev. Um, it, it helps the lineup a lot. Uh, have him at the three, um, me at the four, and then Jesse at the uh, five. And it puts a bigger guy at the three. Um, we don't lose height at the three, and we don't lose rebounding. Um, it's kind of hard for Falk, who's a halfback, fullback guy, to really get into it to rebound. Um, but now we have Kevin there, he's rebounding, and then defensively he's locking it up. What was different in the second half? I'm sorry? What was different in the second half? Um, I, I just think our defense. Uh, we went in halftime, Coach Miller, we made some adjustments uh, as far as rebounding, defense, stuff like that. I, mean, we, I think we just played with more energy. Uh, that's what started. So uh, uh, the last couple of games have been a little struggle for you. That three point in the corner, how did that feel for you? And, uh, for um, it was more just shooting. Um, I didn't second guess. I just took the shot. Uh, Nick got me open for a good shot. My man wanted help. I just knocked it down. It was a sigh of relief. Um, I had to my first one to hit the season. Um, it's just staying in the gym, uh, staying with it, staying with the uh, honoring the process, and just uh, and keep trusting my jump shot. How good was it for you guys to play an experienced team like this? That was how I um, it's good. Just like uh, I think uh, it's just showing how many steps we're taking um, in order to be a better team. Um, Seattle Pacific was a team that executed, and now you have an older team that have a key guy in the post. Um, so we're going to run to guys that, that can play big in the post, and it's just it's switching it up. Um, being able to play defensively uh, against um, teams that, that execute, teams that have a go-to guy, and we just got to learn from it. Are you ready for New York City? Uh, I think in the next few days we we'll take a um, look at film and, uh, and practice. Uh, I think we'll be there. we'll be ready when we get there. Nick, you played a lot more at the point tonight. Are you how comfortable are you there? Um, I mean, it's a transition, definitely. Uh, it's basically the first time I've ever played it. I mean, hey, you ball doesn't count, so I mean, it was definitely a transition. But I mean, just getting comfortable, with more reps and stuff like that in practice. Um, motivation from from all the other guys. I mean, I'll be fine. Do you anticipate this to be a fairly common occurrence? As point yeah. guard, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I want to be on the court and, and, and help my team. So I, I, I told Coach that uh, I wanted to play the try the two positions out. He usually doesn't do that uh, right from the, the beginning, but I stressed him that I, I think I can handle the, the two roles. So I hope so. When Kevin came back to practice, did you know right away he would be able to play today? Was it a surprise? Uh, that he yeah, it's kind of funny because um, just seeing Kevin block shots, uh, we had a moment in practice where. Uh, a couple on the cards. It was against me and it kind of hurt, but fast break. Um, I kind of looked back to see if he was there. And I was going to take off for a dunk and he pinned it to the backboard. And then he called me on the um, back door and dunked on me. But I called him back, but I dunked on him too. But once I just knew then, like, Kevin's a person that, like, he really doesn't overthink things. He just does it. Um, the kind of coaching staff was, when he blocked that shot, they was kind of like, oh, worried, like, man, I can't be able to watch what you're doing. But Kevin's just going to go out there and play. He's going to play hard, and uh, that's what he did tonight. And I think uh, seeing him on the court was just a sigh of relief. Like, we got uh, we're slowly getting our pieces back. And uh, getting Tree back would be a big help, too. But seeing Kevin on the court is just like, man, we got another piece, big piece of the puzzle. What's the biggest challenge playing the point in college? Um, I said the tempo. I mean, uh, guys are a lot faster, a lot stronger, stuff like that. So, um, I mean, but I, luckily I, I didn't have anything to go off of for high school. So, I mean, I'm just learning from from the beginning, basically. So Didn't have bad habits? Yeah, basically, no yeah. And number three seemed to be annoying at times today? Um, yeah, definitely. He uh, He's a good player. Um, coaches told us that in the scouting report, so we expected it. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, he's a little pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you get not only defensively in the second half, but also you had 10 in the first half and none in the first eight minutes or ten minutes or so. What happened there? Just, I mean, um, I'm just getting used to the defense. Um, they kind of want to pressure the ball at times, uh, depending on the guy. 
And we just got to make sharp passes. I think we really looked at if we turn uh, we turn the ball over, we lose, we lose shot attempts. Um, they end up taking like, I think, 33 shots. We end up taking like 21 shots at the half. And uh, the turnovers was a big key of that. And it was getting getting up the court. And it just took about as many threes as we took field goal attempts, period. And we just, uh, the more possessions we get, the more chances we can get to score. And uh, that was a big thing when we wasn't scoring in the first half. You guys wear people down. That seems to be a pattern this half of the year. Uh, like I said, like we're a smaller team. Um, that's what we got to do. Uh, it got to be a part of our identity. And uh, the way we sub, we play up to nine guys, uh, especially with Kev back. And we're a fast team now. We're, we're a small team. Uh, guys just got to guard. Um, like with the big man, uh, just showing Jesse a little bit, Sadiki, uh, Kirill, just showing different matchups. Uh, he had to, he had to change up his game. Uh, he ended up stepping out. Uh, I mean, he hit a couple threes, but putting the ball on the floor was something that he really wasn't strong at, and it was able to change the game for us. What do you think it does for Siddiqui that he was able to contribute and get some positive feedback and all that sort of good stuff? It should boost his morale. Um, I think he should be ready for practice. Um, I think he, he should be up for the challenge. Um, if I sit on the bench and watch a guy that's in my position uh, having struggled with another guy, he came in and did the right thing. Uh, he made a hard play. Um, he got a rebound, went to the line, and he was able to – I mean, he put a, he put a hard play on him. He fouled the guy, but he, he came in and he played the way Coach wanted him to. Solomon, you get to go back to L.A. a lot. What do you think it's going to be like for Kevin and Siddiqui to go back? Uh, it should be a great feeling. Um, I think getting these two next two games will be big uh, for our team and big for Kev. Uh, now he's playing. Um, I think he really looks forward to it more than anybody, him and Siddiqui. And uh, just like I like going home, I, I think he'll love the fact that he's going home. Kevin, how did it feel when you walked out there on the floor? Yeah, Very good. that same innovation. Yeah, it felt good. Um, it was an amazing feeling. Um, I'm just happy to be back on the floor and uh, that I was going to play. I just wanted to contribute and you grab a rebound too. Play hard. Make a three point. Yeah, maybe that too. <laughs> when did you know you were going to play? Yeah. Huh? When did you know you were going to play? I don't know, the last one was the same. You know, just, you know, basically, you, as a staff, and, you know, the team just wanted to see me go out there and see how I would do. And, you know, okay, but I'm not there yet, you know, getting better day by day. And how did that hug feel from Coach at the end when you were coming up? How did what? The hug. When he, when he hugged you? Oh, oh it, it, was, it was great. Um, you know, like I said before, I look at coach, you know, he's more than a coach to me, obviously, because I know him for a long time, so the hug was just, you know, it was just great. Were you always sure you'd be back playing? I mean, was this was earlier than you thought? Um, my goal was New York, especially after my mother passed, but um, I didn't expect to play this game. Uh, I just figured I'd go out there and see how I'd do. He, he must have asked you, are you good to go before the game, like last minute? Because you have to probably say yes or go. Did you? Yeah, I, I basically told him good to go. Um, you know, they just threw me out there and said I would do it. And I think I did okay. You told him today? Or you said it was kind of game time? Um, it was talk, we talked about it yesterday. It was, you know, I would know, you know this morning. And um, like I said before, it was a last minute decision. And uh, just threw me out there. So I'm good. Did you know going through the full practices in the last couple of days that you were ready, or what was the? Who were you? I mean, I'm not I'm still not 100 percent yet, so I want to make that clear. Um, you know, I'm just working with Justin every day. I didn't know I was going to play. It was the last minute thing, and um, so I'm still not 100 percent. I'm just working to, to get back to 100 percent. Where are you now? Where am I? If you're not at 100, where are you? I don't know. Where you think I'm at? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>